Imagine you're flying at night and you've inadvertently flown into a cloud. You're not instrument rated, so this is a real problem. Suddenly you're shocked, confused, and startled. But what happens in the next few minutes will be literally the difference between life and death. 57 seconds to safer flying starts right now. We've all heard of the fight or flight response, but neither of those fit the cockpit startle scenario. An unsuspecting, unprepared pilot is more apt to freeze. Some of the necessary reactions while flying can seem contrary to our instincts, thus leading to confusion and inaction. Prior to the miracle on the Hudson flight, Captain Sully Sullenberger had practiced emergencies and simulators so often that he was able to negate the freeze response and begin checking through options to save the flight. General aviation pilots don't have mandated sim sessions like airline pilots. So role-playing through emergencies with an instructor or other experienced pilot will help. Start with your flight manual's checklists. They should offer specific solutions that can be memorized and practiced. However, they don't cover every situation. Is there a general aviation simulator you can rent time from nearby? A sim makes you manage the flight while working through a problem. Don't just practice emergency responses until you get them right. Practice until you don't get them wrong. If you're wondering how you'll do during a startling challenge, I can only say that your odds will greatly improve if you've practiced emergency scenarios to proficiency. For the FAA safety team, I'm Phil Dixon.